This time on Callahan's Garage, we're driving a fire truck. Hey folks, welcome back to Callahan's Garage. My name's Callahan, and today we are taking a look at my fire truck. And I'm gonna tell you why in the world I bought a fire truck, what I'm gonna do with it, and we're gonna take a look all over this thing because it is super cool. All right, so first and foremost, what is this thing? It looks like it's straight out of 1965, but this is actually a 1990 Ford C8000. So Ford made this same cab and chassis setup from like 57 all the way up to 1990. 1990 was the last year that they made these things. So this thing is in really good shape for its age. You know, it's low hours, low mileage, fleet maintained its whole life. The underside of this thing looks really, really nice. So that's one of the main reasons, you know, that I sought out a fire truck for what I want to do. So when these fire trucks were manufactured, Ford would have built the cabin chassis just like any other work truck. And this is a C8000. So the 1000 series means that this would have been a diesel. So the 7000, 8000 series, those are all different variations of that got diesel drivetrain. So this has a Caterpillar 3208 turbo diesel in it. It's got an Allison automatic transmission. It's really rock solid platform, you know, so it's a really good candidate for what we're gonna do with it. So, like I said, you know, Ford manufactured the cab, the chassis, so this would have come, you know, straight out of the Ford factory like any other, you know, medium duty work truck. Just a cab and blank chassis on the back. And from there, this went to Grumman, and Grumman actually built all of the fire body. So, this is a water truck or a pumper truck, you know, whatever you want to refer to it as. So basically it has a huge PTO pump in the back of it. And then it's got a massive water tank. It's like a eight, seven, 800 gallon tank. So, you know, this would have been the truck that shows up either with the water or the hooks up to the hydrant and supplies the water to the scene. So here on both sides of the truck, we got all kinds of discharge outlets. We got our intake outlets, various controls down here, but if we climb up onto the business end of the truck we've got this super cool gauge panel up here all of our pump controls and everything are here unfortunately i have no idea if the pump works or not but it's all coming off anyway but for the time being it's still super cool so we'll do full walk around of this thing like i said we got more pump controls over here inlets and outlets we got our ladder rack and our rigid hose rack up here storage all over the place we go around back oh we got more storage we got another discharge outlet but the best part is yet to come so on top of the truck we have the massive water cannon but then we also have this huge aluminum deck up here so this would have been hose storage and all kinds of stuff like that but when it's empty this is the perfect observation deck for your car show. So like we were took this thing to caffeine and octane not that long ago and you can stand up here and you can see everything. It's great. So then around this side, we got even more storage and the coolest little part, we got these sweet Grumman Firecat mud flaps. And Grumman did refer to these trucks as Firecat. So we've got these super cool little Firecat logos all over the truck. I am missing a couple though. So on the off chance that you know where there's a fire cat emblem holler at me please and now let's move on inside the truck so sitting inside of this thing driving a cab over a cab ford truck like this is like nothing else in the world that's the main reason i sought out one of these ford cabs because it's just super old school even though this is a 1990 i mean the dash everything looks like it's straight out of the 60s in here so super cool viewing area i mean you just right out in the world when you're driving this thing so it's totally different than anything else the closest thing i can compare it to is driving a split window bus so if you've ever driven a split bus very similar just scaled up massively. <laughs> so then over on the other side of the dash, we've got our little control panel for all of our emergency lights, all the flashing lights and everything still works. So that's super cool. 
We've also got our little uh, air horn. It still works. Unfortunately, the control panel for the siren has been taken out. You know, that's one of the things they do when they decommission these trucks is completely deactivate the siren. But the siren is still on the truck. It's still intact. So we'll get that working at some point down the road. We'll get our little POV shot. So this, like I said, this thing is an automatic transmission. It's got air brakes. It's super easy to drive. So once you kind of wrap your head around the fact that you're sitting on top of the steer axle and understand, you know, the steering geometry and everything, it's super easy to drive being that it's an automatic. And then probably my favorite thing about the truck and one of the primary reasons I sought out one of these Ford cabs is the open rear facing seat like when i was little and i thought of a fire truck this is what comes to mind that open rear facing seat where you're just you're just out here in it you know fully geared up and these firefighters are just hanging on the back of this thing ready to go so riding back here you know fortunately i've gotten to ride around back here a couple of times already and it's wild it's like nothing else you can't compare it to riding in the bed of a truck or anything i mean you are just you just open you're just out here in it it's it's crazy <laughs> all right so now why in the world did i buy a fire truck so there's a couple of reasons so first and foremost i've always wanted a big old truck and realistically i'd love to own an old huge cab over big rig but you know that's not really practical for the average person you get into you know commercial issues and dot regulations and all that kind of stuff but this is medium duty platform. So as long as your loaded vehicle weighs less than 26,000 pounds, you can drive this thing around with a regular driver's license, at least in the state of Georgia. So basically, you know, jump through, had to jump through a couple of hoops at the tag office to, you know, dis dispute the actual weight of the truck. But once I was able to register it, it's got a regular tag on it. I just drive it around with my regular driver's license. So easy peasy. So then secondly, I wanted to get a big truck to be able to tow multiple vehicles to car shows. You know, that's, that's the ultimate goal is to be able to take more than one vehicle to car shows that we travel to. So, you know, your options are kind of limited there. You know, do you get a 30, 40 foot trailer you can fit two cars on? You know, then you have to store a big trailer. Do you get, a big truck to have to tow that trailer with and then you're also really putting a lot of work on your one ton truck whereas if we step up to the medium duty platform we will never work this thing harder than it's been worked in the past you know this thing was designed to drag around hundreds of gallons of water you know a couple of volkswagens isn't going to be a drop in the bucket on this thing so long term plan with this thing is to completely gut the fire body off of this thing so we're going to tear this thing completely back down to the cab and the bare chassis. And then from there, we're gonna build it into a ramp truck. So then we can haul a car on the back of the ramp truck. We can pull the trailer with a car. And theoretically, you know, we should still skate just under that 26,000 pound mark. So that's the goal long-term. And I say long-term cause you know, just the disassembly on the back half of this thing is gonna be a ton of work. So this is gonna be a multi-year project and I'll kind of highlight it over time but for now, you know, I'm just enjoying driving this thing around. Like it's super cool to drive around. People have no idea what to think when they see somebody driving around in a fire truck that looks like it's, you know, 60, 70 years old. And we've already taken it to several car shows and people just eat it up. You know, the kids love it. Even, you know, retired guys that have, you know, done fleet maintenance, they love to see something like this. It just pulls all kinds of attention everywhere. It's super cool. Everybody appreciates, you know, when you bring something like this out. So I'm sure some fire truck folks are going to be ill at me for wanting to completely gut this thing, but it's the absolute perfect platform for what we're looking to do with it. You know, it's a relatively short vehicle for the amount of space and the, the ramp body that we're going to put on here. You know, it's not an absurdly huge truck, even with the trailer behind it, it still won't be too painful to park. You know, it's not that much longer than my current truck and trailer. So, you know, it's, I think it's really going to be suited well. And then even if we get this thing totally built out and I'm not totally sold on it, it's still super cool. So for the time being, I'm just going to keep driving this thing around and enjoying it. I've already slid a buffer across it once, got a lot of the shine back into the paint. I still need to do some more buffing on it. But the next thing we need to do, I've got to come up with some 
clever name to put on the side of the truck. I'm going to get the, tr the lettering and everything redone on the truck. So if you can come up with something clever, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I've been racking my brain trying to come up with something. So like when they decommission the trucks, most of the time they will remove the county or the city that you name that was on the trucks. So this truck was originally from Hall County, Georgia. And funny enough, I actually got a picture of this truck in service from a, you know, a guy whose dad operated and drove this truck for years and years up in Hall County. So I'm gonna hop back in this thing and go drive around some more. It's just too much fun. So if you wanna see more of this thing in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you like seeing the fire truck stuff, hit that like button, let me know. Leave some comments on what you think we should name this thing and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.